doing a great job. Obviously, again, good to see Candace Parker back. We talked about it at TIFF with Alexis Jones being able to contribute and Maria Vadiva coming back as well. Elena Beard out for today as well as Chinea Gumake who will be sidelined, still suffering from the jaw pain that she has. She missed the last game as well against the Aces. And this is game five of Raquana Williams' 10-game suspension. So we're about to get started here. Our officials for today, Maj Forsberg, Randy Richardson, and Ashley Gilpin. And the ball from the tip goes straight to Seattle. See some of her family and her former college coach, Corey Close from UCLA is here Ruffin Pratt. Wastes no time getting to the rim. She's done a great job of beating. Neka trying to get the ball into Candace Parker does. A lot of bodies attracted to her underneath. Seven on the shot clock, but two points for Candace Parker. All that time off, she looked to land that, but letting her play. Natasha Howard, all-star, gets the bucket to go. Mm, talk about switches. We sends up on Howard, and that's going to be a tough Lloyd, guarded by Sydney Weiss, passes it over to Alicia Clark, and that's a player you definitely have to find on the three-point line. No doubt, does a nice job, and she was wide. It was her a younger sister of his, and that he trained and mentored her in high school as well. And that outside ball by Sydney Weiss, who is just shining like a school body from Natasha Howard and Clark on the sideline. She gets out of it and gets the ball to Candace Parker with the no-look pass. Go ahead, you can say it. Energy and everything that they do positively starts with Chelsea Gray. And that's one good way, too. She misses there, but Candace Parker cleans it up for the end one. And the special relationship between Gray and Parker. I don't know, Mary. Can this be considered an assist over the rim to Candace Parker? Maybe, maybe not. I think you could sell it. I think you could sell it. So nice for her. And the ability to bring Alexis Jones into the lineup now and take some pressure off Chelsea Gray. To Raquana Williams as she continues to sit out. But Chelsea Gray doing Chelsea Gray things from the outside. Everything she does. Eight point, Mary. Derek Fisher at practice said it's very important that we understand how good the Storm are in transition. So far, they're taking care of business. Zero fast break. He just steps right in, and it's bottoms up. So, Mary, when you're looking at a team like that, as there's another turnover for the Storm, she does finding Maria Vadiva for two. Well, if you're on the Sparks, it's just like, wrong with me. You know, got a shootout at Staples. All starters for Seattle have scored. And are moving. You know, it, she is a highlight reel. Dirk Fisher did not like that call. Got no excuse for any player. It's next up mentality. Everyone gets their opportunity, and you can see how confident they are when each player comes back. Without a doubt, we've seen that with the rookies as well. We haven't seen Kalani Brown yet or, or Mabry, but they've played the same way. Great confidence. He's in the first game. She reported her career high 24 points against Vegas and then came back for her second game against Las Vegas. So the this season and second in the WNBA at close to six assists per game. Continues to get better and better coming off of a game where she had 10 film together. Finally get some practice time in. The sky is the limit for this team as you head into the final month. So zealous to finish for two. Seattle, a team that moves very well without the ball. All day, beautiful pass inside. We know her as a scorer and a shooter. Beautiful dish there. Here we go. Hey, to put some distance between themselves and Seattle with Natasha Howard on the bench. Great point as Natasha Howard has been outstanding this entire year, averaging 18 points and eight rebounds. And that's one way, but Wickham couldn't finish the layup. Take advantage of it. Decisive, strong, find the open player. That's LA Sparks basketball. Mabry, quick release from the three, no good. Wickham with the rebound. And Dennis Rodriguez did an amazing job as he sung the national anthem, and LA Fire Department chief. Once again, if you are watching. Lloyd's been quiet, just two points. Both of those points from the free throw line has not scored from the floor yet. But then right away, Candace Parker almost left alone underneath. It makes Seattle pay. 
would have to agree as Russell is another player who we've seen on multiple occasions diving to the rim and has become very successful in it. But Seattle just keeps hanging around and keeps calling this year, but it's always about the footwork. How does she get where she wants to go? L.A. with a six-point lead. Percent from the three, but then also on the inside, 24 points for the Sparks in the world. And so when each coach says, hey, listen, it's the next man or woman up mentality, it's no joke. And 11 assists for the Sparks, seven on the shot clock. And Canada lets that go. And we're about 30 seconds away from the finish of the first half. Again. I'm not sure if we can find any more adjectives to describe assists in the first half, 10 points after coming up with a game 16 and 10. And half of the Sparks. Canada finding a seam on the inside, but doesn't get the ball to drop. Here we go. Can Patience has been the key word for the offense in the Sparks. Natasha Howard from outside. I'm playing NBA 2K or any type of game. I'm picking Chelsea Gray. As she continues to get things going, picks, throws the ball away there. Balls in her hands. Beautiful job on that baseline by Russell to read and react, show a target. By Natasha Howard and Dan Hughes doesn't go to the bench. So trust her to play with the fouls. If you're telling any of your players anything, it's when and where. Your point guard knows when and where to de deliver to your rough attack with six points for today. 45 sparks. It's been all sparks to start this second half. It really has. But what have you seen so far? Is it and picking up wins here? It's nice that they can kind of finish off at home. There it shows right there where to put the ball. Sparks have their own big three, and it starts with net player of the year, Elena Beard, who has been really limited this so far this season. It's very interesting. Kiara Ruffin Pratt said the reason Sparks, along with Maria Vadiva and Sid Weiss, as that shot for Maria Masha Vadiva. Morph and expand. Speaking with her yesterday, she said, I'm just getting back into a groove. She. It's a tenth turnover for the Sparks. That's where the pass has to come in high, not low. Finish underneath. How about the pass from Howard? What a game she's having. Is having her way on the offensive end. You would think that she would just be with them. Now their leading score with 13. She's three of seven from beyond the arc. Great. Had to see where she was on the floor to prevent the backcourt pass. And a collision, but Zealous gets up, and that's personal fouls have been called. But assume the communication has to be there. As Lane push it, miss shots, push it. Turk Fisher's style of play early, get everybody involved. L.A.'s done a nice job of responding every time Seattle kind of tries to get themselves back in the game. L.A., whether it's a steal. Underneath, and that one will go down. I mean, here we go. 12 points for Mercedes Russell. And it just goes to show when it's not about me getting mine, and it's just about finding the open play. You know, for the games that... For Mary, you know what, we got to change that attitude, mm. you know. To prime players, it's different seeing Tarasi as two... Seconds on the shot, but she cannot finish at the rim. Awareness by Chelsea Gray. They've come up with another assist. Get together. NECA, as we know, has extended her range. Because Seattle, they just don't stop. And over, a little over 12,000 of the fans. It's service day. So you see the uniform on their feet, cheering on the Sparks. With three seconds left in the game, they can improve to 13 on the season. But then they're saying at the on the floor, the officials are holding the ball, but they're saying that everyone should